Good morning guys. So we are on our first full day in Berlin and the weather is looking mighty fine. It's meant to be like 31 or 30 degrees so um, hence the vest top. So yeah it's going to be pretty warm and we're going to be going to the museums um, because um, yeah they've got um, I think I explained it yesterday anyway but um, like in London where we got all the like science museum V&A and stuff like that they've got all theirs all like together in um, on basically an island um, but they're not free so that's the only downside but they've um, it's one of the sort of like most popular sort of places in Berlin so um, you can get one ticket and it covers the whole all the museums so and there's some good places for food and stuff so off we go mm. Moi j'ai jamais perdu une game de bonhomme pendu Tu penses-tu que je connais pas mes lettres Tout traite du sec, le pays du chèque Y'en a pas ce correct Mais si c'est les cravates qui font le cash Mais c'est pas net La paranoïa pète de moi We've just got our uh, museum tickets now So that allows us access to all the museums For today Which is um, quite good I mean it's like 18 euros I know we're used to like free museums But I mean a lot of places in like Paris and stuff you have to pay for as well anyway. So it's really hot and we're just gonna go into the first museum now. And now you're in my own block. <laughs> yeah. So we're still in the museum. Um, had a nice good little look around. We had a nice coffee and uh, some bread with hummus, so that was really good. We just um, stood by the biggest store I've possibly ever seen. I don't know why a door needs to be that big, but there you go. So in this museum it's mainly sort of ancient uh, Egyptian sort of artifacts. So we just have a little like further wonder about because it's already like quarter past one. Pieces. It's like just a giant jigsaw puzzle. They've like pieced all together. So the dragons on the Ishtar gate. Uh, they had a head of a snake, wasn't it? Um, the tail of tail of. They had the body of a um, snake. Oh, uh, the body is snake as well. Front legs were lions, back legs were eagles, and the tail was a tail of a scorpion, which is like the ultimate, ultimate beast. The, uh, the gate is it? I think like around here is like where... Mm -hmm. 
just say to Lucy, like, it's funny how the only part that he managed to save of that statue was the book. So we're just done with that second museum. It's alright. It wasn't as good as the first one, I don't think. Because I think the first one was a bit more interesting. There's more stuff to look at, whereas the second one was like lots of big things. Doesn't make us sound very cultured. No. Big things, it's small things. But yeah, it didn't really sort of um, captivate us as, uh, as much. As soon as we stepped out, it's like bloody hot again. <laughs> it's like three o'clock now. So we haven't spent most of the day actually. Like, I didn't think we, I thought it was going to be like quicker going around the museums than it has been. But. So we're calling off with a bit of lemon sorbet. It's quite nice here because uh, I'll spin it around. There's uh, lots of like boat tours and stuff that goes along the river. So we might end up having a have a little look in a, in another museum, but we'll see how we get on because it's obviously like three o'clock and it's quite sort of um, tiring business getting around. It's actually hotter here than what it was when we went to Zante, which is nuts. So I think it's like 30 or 31 today, so. Oh, this was pleasant. Let's get it. The nature of freaks. And in return. Peace sign. So flipping warm still. Looks lovely around here. Nice fountain, cathedral. Unfortunately, the cathedral is like seven euros to go in, which I know isn't much, but it just makes more sense to just to just carry on going with the normal museums that are included in the tickets. We're going to go in the Altels Museum, uh, which has got uh, like ancient Greek artifacts and things like that. And then after that, I think we're going to probably get some food or something. Hey Jack, walk right back, right back, right back, right back. I daddy mag y'all. When I can't so take a time out. Freak of nature, nice to meet you. So take a time out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Freak of nature, nice uh. to meet you. Uh. Uh. So, Lucy wanted to go to this beauty store called Douglas which I think uh, has like uh, Zoeva brushes. And um, yeah, we were just sort of, literally only just got in and they handed us like a can with a drink. And we were like, what is this? It's like a little can of Prosecco. So we're just walking around looking at like the makeup with a can of Prosecco on our hands. Really bizarre. Um, but we're just off to try and find this uh, place which has been recommended in our um, Guide. We're hoping it's not going to be like too German that we're going to like be out of our depth. But I think we'll be okay. Yeah, should be alright. I think it's just a bit like you don't know what to expect. Anyway, let's get rid of Prosecco or something. <laughs> so we finally like made it to this place and um, we've got a German beer each. And uh, Lucy's gone for the schnitzel and I've gone for a onion beef roast. So be interesting to see what that is like. To be fair, I probably would have gone for the schnitzel but I'm not like a massive fan of pork. Whereas for me it's like my my favourite meat. Yeah. I'm still gonna have a little try of it and see what it's like. It's just nice having like food 
like local food when you go on holiday because I think like too often I think when I was on like family holidays we'd always like just stick to what we know so I think it's nice to like try I mean that's the whole point of going away really like to try new things and different experiences so it's worth like stepping outside your comfort zones a bit and like trying different new foods and stuff and it's best to probably do it probably as soon as probably as soon as you um, can because uh, we ended up going to we had like proper like tapas on our last day and sangria and stuff and by then like we were all ready to go, go home but we would have probably and we really enjoyed it as well more yeah. than we expected so we probably would have done that more if we had like perhaps done it a bit earlier so <laughs> we knew the schnitzel was big but it's I like i don't feel like i need like ketchup or something though. it's massive yeah and look, look how big it is and that's like can you stop the bit on my food sorry I i've got um sort of caramel brownie and Mark's got his favourite. Yeah, that was chocolate. The best ice cream in the world. It's still really hot outside as well. So we're back in our hotel room and thus concludes the day. Day two, but our first full day in Berlin. Um, so it's been really good and it's been really hot. Uh, but we've had a really nice time. Um, I think we needed to sort of like take a break after some of the museums because it was just so hot and we hadn't really been drinking enough because each time we went to a museum we had to like check our bags in so we couldn't like bring water with us tomorrow we're going to the zoo we've already got our tickets booked so um and it's walking distance so that's awesome so we just like walk there go in and we've got like a combo ticket so you can go to the aquarium as well um, so there's loads of like cool places to eat and stuff as well so we're just gonna kind of like play it by ear I guess tomorrow but it should be a really nice day again because it's still so hot outside and it's like nine o'clock now it's still like I'm still sweating because it's that hot uh, but we've got some water and I stupidly left my toothbrush at home as well as unpacking the toothpaste that we had in our uh, case and decided to leave that one out as well so we've been luckily Lucy had a small little travel size um, thing of toothpaste so we've got some toothpaste I've got a toothbrush we're all okay already and set for tomorrow so we shall see you guys then so that will be it for today bye